All right, welcome to this week's Whiteboard Wednesday. Today's episode is going to focus on the sound of that lawnmower. All right, welcome to this week's Whiteboard Wednesday. Today's topic is going to be training with purpose. And if there's some noise <laughs> on, on the video, there's some construction going on down the street, so I apologize for that. Um, but whenever we're talking about training with purpose, there are a couple things that we want to think about. There, In any exercising population, training with purpose is extremely rare. And that's kind of unfortunate, but that's the way it is. And two of the things that are very common that prevent people from exercising, from training with purpose, exercise ADD, that's what I like to call it. And those are people who like to move around from gym to gym, program to program, they program hop a lot. And that's not an, a, an effective way to actually accomplish one's goals. You actually have to choose one particular thing and stick with it for an extended period of time if you actually want to accomplish anything, if you want actually want to see whether or not what you're doing is effective. And so you can't go to Pilates one day and yoga another and CrossFit another day and then go do your own thing another day, that doesn't really work long term in terms of accomplishing goals. You have to pick something, preferably something that's actually geared towards accomplishing your goals, and you have to stick with that for an extended period of time, months, years even. Lots of years, really, for, for many goals. Uh, the second thing that's extremely common is exercising for atonement. So many people exercise to suffer, to feel pain. And that's obviously not a healthy thing to do physically or mentally. Because mentally it's not good to crave beating yourself down all the time. You should be training to get better. Training should always be about self-improvement. It shouldn't be about atonement. So the keys to training with purpose, there are two keys to actually training with purpose and to actually accomplishing your goals, and those are consistency and sustainability. You have to be consistent with whatever you're doing in order for that to actually work, whether it's diet, whether it's exercise, you have to be consistent day in, day out for months and years, not a couple weeks here, a week off there, a couple weeks here. And that continuing that cycle, that's not actually going to get you anywhere. And the other piece is sustainability. Because a program obviously has to be sustainable in order to allow for that consistency. If you're exercising for atonement and you're beating yourself down all the time, that's not consistent. You're going to run into overtraining issues, adrenal fatigue, injuries, and you're not going to be able to be consistent. So consistency and sustainability. Those are the two keys. And that's been today's Whiteboard Wednesday, and we'll see you next time.